Hello, folks. Gremlins 3 is out. Remember Gremlins? You can't expose them to water or uh, sunlight, I believe, and the, or you're on a one-way ticket to hell. This reminded me of Glaswegians. I have a Glaswegian father. Glaswegian meaning from Glasgow. And please stop calling it glass cow. It's infuriating. Um, Glaswegians are very much like gremlins. You have to keep them on a short leash. They're like pit bulls. If you keep them really close to you, you curb your pit bull, he won't do anything. He won't eat anyone's face. But Glaswegians can get vicious when they're out of line. And I remember as a kid in Glasgow, in Glasgow, uh, I would hear a man swear. Hey, don't give me that shit. And you'd see the barmaid, you know, pulling her pint, pulling her Caledonian 80. It always takes an hour to pour a pint there. Just give me a Budweiser for fuck's sake. Pulling her pint and she go, here you. And I remember as a kid going, A, why am I allowed in a bar? And B, uh, why is she getting so mad at people for swearing? And I realized she's reigning in the Glaswegian because they are like Tasmanian devils. And if they get too much freedom, they'll destroy everything in their wake. And this is especially true when it comes to what songs you expose them to. I think you're only safe with Annie Lennox doing uh, uh, Eurythmics, maybe some Motown, and uh, Linda Ronstadt doing Blue By You. And the mission boards with their sails afloat on Blue By You. That's your safe zone, okay? Now, there are three songs you really have to avoid. Uh, if you want your apartment or your home to stay intact. And the first song you should never introduce your Glaswegian to is Marvin Gaye's Heard It Through the Grapevine. First, the, the, the things that happen to a Glaswegian man when he hears this song is, one, he turns into a really weird effeminate gay. He'll pull his uh, blazer sleeves up. Two, he massacres the song. And you hear that chorus with a Scottish accent. And then three, he will repeat it again and again and again for days. Listen to the song on repeat until you want to murder him. I fucking love that song. Honey, honey, yeah. How much longer will you be my baby? Yeah, yeah. Oh, perfection. The second, uh, a second dangerous song, I'm not sure the order here, I don't, I don't think it's, it, it can be quantified, this kind of reaction, is the song, uh, what's it called? Caught Between a Land, Supernova. The Oasis song, Supernova. Terrible song. Uh, may, uh, you know what I'm noticing with these songs? They all come from working class people. Maybe Glaswegians identify so much with the working classes that when they're drunk, they get too passionate and it overflows and we get a brave heart thing where they want to just charge the English and kill us all. So yeah, I would avoid blue collar musicians in general, but Oasis go under that banner. And they, the scary thing about Supernova is it's got big anthemic choruses, which are bad for them because they get really brave hearty. And there's a part in it where, where it goes, where were you when we were getting high? Now, there's an animosity within Glaswegians that's constantly bubbling. And if you, if, they, if you tap into that, like have any problem with them whatsoever while they're enjoying themselves, the fun, the gremlin, the cozy, cuddly guy goes zhoomf and becomes evil. And they start thinking, yeah, where what are you when we were getting high? You wee puff. And then it starts, he gets into this Gran Torino thing of, you know, hating his son-in-law and being like, would it kill you to buy American? And he starts to get vicious. Check it out. Love it! Slowly walking down the hall Faster than a cannonball Where were you when we were getting high? Where were you when we were getting high? We were getting high! Which brings us to our nuclear weapon. Uh, people are worried about Trump. Liberals are worried about Trump being elected because they think he's going to start a nuclear war, which is ridiculous. He's not insane. He's someone you don't like. Hillary is much more daunting because we've seen her military experience. and It involves getting people killed. Even Justin Trudeau, who I'm not a huge fan of, I don't see him starting a nuclear war. However, 
letting a Glaswegian enjoy the song Hello by Adele is like giving him nuclear warheads. You will never be able to turn back time to your apartment or your home before you introduce him to that. The chorus is just too anthemic. There's too much passion in it. She is, as we've discovered talking about this, too blue collar. And when he hears that song, not just his world will never be the same, the world will never be the same. Oh, how from the other side I must have So there you have it, guys. Glaswegians are wonderful creatures that can be a lot of fun. They're, uh, they're uh, a party to argue with and, and to get political with, and they're, a f they're fun to drink with. But you have to keep them in check, and you have to keep them away from those three songs. Did you like that? Okay, check it out. I got a whole comedy show called How's It Going, Eh? You just have to click right here to subscribe.